In this video, we are unpacking DB5's nested rows, a powerful new feature that's waving goodbye to speciality sections for good. We will break down why nested rows are your new best friend for creating complex layouts, how they outshine the old speciality sections, and how you can use them to craft stunning designs in real world scenarios. So whether you are a seasonal designer or just getting started, stick around because this is about to change the way you build your design frame work with Divi 5. So if that sounds interesting, then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you are watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the Divi Visual Builder. Just a heads up, Divi 5 is awesome for new sites. But hold off on converting existing one for now. And if you want to deep dive in this topic and learn more about it, we have created a complete blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. So once you are done with this video, make sure you head over to the video description and check out the complete blog post. I'm sure you will find it helpful. Now let's rewind a little bit. Speciality sections rolled out with Divi in 2014 giving us a way to tackle tricky layouts like sidebars and asymmetric designs that regular sections just couldn't manage. They were a lifesaver back then, bending Divi's shortcode system to make complex nesting possible. But here's the thing, they added a layer of complexity that wasn't always easy to wrangle. With unique settings and quick early behaviors, they got the job done. But they weren't exactly smooth sailing. Divi 5's nested rows are stepping into simplifying all of that. So let's get some hands on and see how we can use nested rows in order to create a complex design which was earlier only possible with speciality sections. So here we are back inside our DB Visual Builder and let's take a quick example of how we can use nested rows in order to replace what we are doing till now using speciality sections. So here we have imported a sample layout and if we take a look at the structure here, we have this header which is a speciality section and if we open this, we have two columns. On the left hand side, we have this complex layout and in the second column, we have this image or maybe two images. One is this background image and another one is this absolute position image on top of it. So let's try to recreate this by just using nested rows. So let me just go ahead and add a new section here. I'll click on regular and here we are going to use this row structure. And let me just rename this section so that we can easily understand this. And now we click on our row and we go to design. And in the sizing, we will make the width as 100% and we will make the max width again as 100%. Like this. And now for this row, we are first going to add our background color and the image. So we go to our section here and for the background, we first select the background color and in the image, we will select the background image as well. This one. And we will make the background image size as actual size and the position we select top center. And now we are ready to add our content inside this row. Now let's go ahead and copy the content from here only. So we go ahead and copy this heading module first and we will paste it here. And now comes the best part. In order to create this complex structure, we are going to click on this plus icon and here we are going to add another row and we will choose two column layout like this. And now we are going to add image here and on the right hand side, we are going to add a text module and we are going to copy the module attribute and then we will paste the attributes here. So it's going to copy everything from this. In the same way, we are again going to create a button just below this. And again, we are going to copy the attributes. And we will just create a duplicate by pasting everything for this button. So we now have the exact copy of button here. And now let's upload our image. So we go to image library. And here is our image. Let's upload this. And boom, we are almost there. Now we go to the right hand side section. First, let's upload the image. 
Let's select the image from the media library. Here it is. And now let's another image. Here it is. And for this image, we go to advance and we click on position. We make it as absolute and the position will be bottom left corner. And then we go to design and inside filters. We are going to reduce the opacity to maybe 50%. And now for our first column, we are going to click on design. And for spacing, we are going to add padding left and we will select percentage and value 10. So we'll have a gap from the left. And if you come back here for this image, we go to design and sizing. We can change the width to 50%. So we now have almost similar look. Now if you go ahead and save the draft. So we now have almost similar look for both of these section. One is using speciality sections and another one is by just using nested rows. So let's go ahead and save this draft and let's see how it looks in the front end. So here you can see we have almost matched the look of this section. There is definitely a scope of improvement, but you got the idea that how we can use nested rows instead of speciality sections. So why are nested rows such a big deal? In Divi 5, they let you drop rows inside columns anywhere within a regular section. No speciality section required. This means you can build deeply nested layouts with as many columns and rows as your creativity demands. On top of that, nested rows comes with consistent sizing options for columns, so your design stays sharp and adaptable. It's like handling a Swiss army knife for layouts. Flexible, intuitive and ready to tackle anything you throw at it. Practical scenarios and benefits. Now let's talk real world magic. Nested rows are your go-to for building a design framework that shines. Need a sleek portfolio? Nested rows can create a grid with image and captions with everything perfectly aligned. Working on a pricing page? Use nested rows to stack featured list with buttons that flows seamlessly. The beauty here is the simplicity. No more wrestling with short codes or switching section types. Your layouts stay calm, your workflow gets faster and your design levels up with total flexibility. Now Divi 5 isn't about just nested rows. It's a whole new foundation for design. With Flexbox layouts and advanced column sizing on the horizon, you are set to build framework that push boundaries. So want to get started? Then go ahead and grab Divi 5 Public Alpha today and start playing with nested rows yourself. And for more details, hit up the blog post link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll catch you in the next video.